I'm here with the founders of the Arts League of Lowell, also known as All, right? Yep. And from left to right, we have Raquel Baumann, Lainey Zodi, uh, Ted Labash, uh, Pamela Gonzalez, and Steve Severson. <laughs> Steve the dude. <laughs> I, I always help. <laughs> and then, uh, so what I wanted to start with was, um, how did you meet one another? How did you all come together? Well, we all met in the airlocks. So we all lived there. We all lived except there. for Steve. Well, except Steve, he's a doctor. It's Pam's fault. A doctor's fault. So anyway, how it started, we decided to get together, right? Well, I think the first thing was, the, the kind of precursor was that we had the gallery yeah. at, yeah. at airlocks. So we were meeting because we were residents yeah. and we were starting yeah, sitting, you know? shows and things like that. Mm -hmm. And we sometimes got along. Yeah. So well, we, we, and this was this, the conversation about getting together happened right after Middlesex County Open Studios. We yes. Had, yes. We had just wrapped up Open Studios in the end yes. of September, I think it was. Yeah. And because uh, Middlesex Beat Magazine, which is long gone, um, organized open studios throughout the throughout the Middlesex County. So, so, yeah, where, so where did the idea for it all come from? It's her fault. Yeah. Well, so that from that beginning, then Pamela suggested. Yeah, well, how did you get involved? This is how it happened. Raquel and you, we would go to Paradise Hill in the morning to go have coffee and just sit outside. It was kind of like a European food yeah. player down there. Great coffee, great pastry. So I had just moved here from Medford and there was an art organization and they were just doing a lot, bringing in new artists, emerging artists, trying to come together. And when I came to home, I said, oh, there's nothing here. Because I had just done open studios in Medford and um, I was sitting with Raquel, and so we started talking, and the conversation was, wouldn't it be great if there was some kind of an art association? And Ted was with us, and I'll never yep. forget what you said. If anybody shows up, I'll eat my hat. <laughs> <laughs> Those words keep resonating in my head. He'll eat his hat. Yeah, How was that hat? Yeah. It tasted very good. A little salt and pepper on his hat. Um, so we made a flyer, Raquel and I, and I think you were with us. I was, yeah, I'm one, you know, you told yeah, me. Yeah, and you talked. In fact, I thought it was your idea, but now yeah. I found out. Then we took, and you know, we took it up, I forget the name of this place on the corner. Uh, with Prince the, Fabric Art. Prince Fabric, Fabric, Fabric Art, and that was the first place but, we came to. No, the first meeting was, was in our gallery, and, and, and just five of us. Just like five of us. Yes. And we know the name yet and everything, and a lot of people looking came. Looking for people that had an interest. And when it came L, uh, all, right. meaning when you were talking about uh, to include everybody, not just right. painters. They yeah. wanted just artists right. and just artists from Lowell. Yeah. Just painters. Just I, painters, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it would be a little yeah, social selfish. thing where we could go ahead. <laughs> Come and talk about uh, Yeah, I drink and, and, and drink. Oh, I see. But, she drop. but he also yeah. had a friend. Ted also had a friend with whom he'd worked in another capacity in another you guys were computer or something? Yeah, Honeywell. Yeah. Honeywell. The graphics department. The graphics department and he kept talking about this dude. I don't know, it was Steve. So anyway, Steve got pulled in. We got him. Yeah, we, got we drafted him. So we we met at Fred. I came into it at Friends. When we forgot, yes, yes. yes. And we're sitting around the table saying, you know, how to organize, and because yes. nobody had any idea how to organize, right? But um, <laughs> and you and, said, and we said we had somebody said first. Well, we needed we need to have a management group, right. you know, a, a president and a vice president, yeah. and a treasurer yeah. and a secretary yeah. and all that stuff to make it official. And I remember saying. Well, there was all this hemming and hawing. Nobody wanted to take a position. <laughs> and finally, I said, okay, look, I'll, I'll, I'll take the president to launch this thing, and I'll do it for a year, and that's it. And how many years have you been? Here we are. 20 years. 20 ago. years ago, and he's still going strong. 22 years. Yeah, 20, 20 years. 20 years. years. Well, about 20 October years 20, 2003 is when yeah. we had that meeting. Wow. 
Oh, it's been a while. Yeah. Unbelievable. And so apparently it's president for life, not president for the year. <laughs> yes, yes. And it's uh, to grow. To get more yeah, yeah, well, that, that was the beginning of it. Then we started to put out the word. I'm not sure exactly how, but mostly word of mouth, I guess. And uh, then we then we started having meetings at the uh, library, library. The library. In, the, in the community yeah. room in the, the room library. Yes. People started showing up, and then we said, well, we need to figure out how to have a form to register as a member. And a name. And a, and a name. And, and we started talking about the name. And, you Wasn't know, that Jay from Gutenberg? Uh, I'm not sure who, who well, thought of the name first. The idea was to include all, right. all artists, all not yeah. just yeah. painters. Yeah. Uh, musicians, textile, collage. Nobody's going to come. Yeah. No. Okay. You guys are we're looking way too much. We should, we don't need to do all that. We just need local artists. <laughs> no, Ted, no, Ted. So we, uh, yeah, so the Arts League of Lowell sort of formed, oh, you know, okay. in conversation. Um, and then we had a little uh, contest to see, to develop our logo. Yeah, that's right. And, um, Yes, yeah, Gary Destramp yes. came up with the oh, logo. Yeah, that's I remember yeah. that. Yes, it worked so beautifully. Arts League of Lowell, all oh, that. Yeah, it, it was favorable. It, it was for kind everybody. of a, It was kind of an accident that we realized it said all. All. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and it, and that was great because then it you know it includes. And, yeah, and I think some of the folks who have been attracted to it have not been necessarily you know artists, and I think that's one of the things that I have found so appealing. It's like. I remember having conversations where I, I said, um, if you ever walk by a gallery, if you ever expressed an interest in art, you don't necessarily have to be the maker of it. Yeah. And I, I want to emphasize that because one of our first members, if not the first dues paying members, Martha May. Martha May. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's she's the yeah. author of us. Yeah. Yeah. Because she's not an art, she, and she'll tell you, she's done, I'm, I'm not the artist, right. I'm not make it, yes. I don't make it. But here it is, it just a couple of days, yesterday. Yeah, and she's become our one of our best patrons, patrons. Yeah, for over the years. Of, of, uh, lots of artists. Yeah, yeah. around, um, I guess it was right about the first of the year, 2004, when we decided, one, we would be, be a non-profit. Another, would be a right. non-profit. Yeah, I remember that. And then we reached out uh, for help in writing the uh, bylaws, the yeah. non-profit bylaws, and... Uh, Jericho Road yep. Foundation. Yes, remember um, yes. Jer um, you know, shout out to those people. Uh, they volunteered uh, a lawyer to oh, yeah. draft, yes, yes. draft our yeah. bylaws. And he was, a, I forget his name, unfortunately, but he came from a, um, a big time law firm in Boston. He, he developed our bylaws and um, and then he also helped with the application to the, to the feds to get our 501c3. Uh, so that all happened, I think, as I recall, we got our official nonprofit status from the government in June of 2004. How, how did you end up at 307 Market Street, where we are now? Well, we moved seven times in nine years. Okay, the first nine years was... Can you uh, name the places? I can name them. We went from the first place where Warp and Weft is over to where LTC is now. Then we moved to Middle Street. Middle Street. The, uh, revolving, where the Revolving Museum was. No, that no. was later. That was, it was later. Um, uh, oh, down the street. The, down, down the street. What's the name of it? It starts with P. Pa Pollard. Pollard Building. Pollard Building. Right. Pollard Building. Right. Pollard Building. Right. And then we moved back to LTC for a very short period right. of time. And then we moved to where the Revolving Museum, Museum had just left, which is yeah. now currently Gallagher and Kavanaugh Law Offices. Oh. Um, and from there, we moved to Merrimack Street. Anybody oh. keeping count? Is that uh, Merrimack oh, Street. Yeah. I think it was where the the, the place the make your makers. Well, Lowell makes. Lowell makes. makes. Yes. Yeah. 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 It was yeah. most recently yeah. there. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. next, next door to the. Uh, Metro PCS, Metro PCS. Uh, uh, phone company. Uh, so we were there for a pretty short time, two years maybe, or less than two years. Uh, then <clears throat> then there was for sale sign went up on this building, and I was immediately on the phone and said, we want to buy that building and, and move there. Of course, 
we couldn't figure out how to pay for a building. <laughs> Minor <laughs> but detail. It needs to be made at the garage. The building was actually pretty cheap. Uh, it was. It had been foreclosed, and so the bank had it, and they were trying to, you know, unload it from their records, and could have had it for pretty cheap money, but it was the million dollars so to renovate it that was uh, exactly you know unapproachable. We couldn't do it. Um, so uh, that so that was in two thousand two, more or less. Uh, that. Uh, our now landlord Nick Saris bought the building from the bank. Was that 2002? But no, uh, later. Later. So later. Later. No, 2012. 12. 2012. 2012. 2012. Okay. Sorry. Um, and he bought the building, and uh, and I found out that it was him. I didn't know him at that point. Uh, we said, okay, we want to. Uh, you know, I have an idea for your building. What are you going to do with this? Well, I don't know what to do with it. I just want to, I want to save it because he thought, it, you know, if you look at the outside of this building, it's beautiful. Anyway, he said his mission was to save the building. He didn't know what he was going to do with it. And I said, I'll tell you what to do with it. <laughs> yeah. He said, you make studios upstairs and you make a gallery down here and you make a space for my store. And that's what he did. Yeah. You know, and it took him a year or two while we were hovering over on Merrimack Street. Uh, to renovate the building, and then we moved in in 2013. So. I remember walking through and finding the space on the fourth floor. Yeah. That corner. In the corner. Me too. Uh, it just it was, was the right... Yeah, so you're... The right place. You two are charter members of the studio. Of oh, the studio, the fourth floor. Yeah. 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 yeah, we also did see good and great lighting in the fifth new floor, yeah. right? Yeah, we did. Well, we did it right. I mean, if, we, if we're going to make a gallery, we're going to make a gallery that's that's right. proper, yes. you know, with the bright lighting, and the floor was crap, so we had to do, yeah. redo the floor. We got a grant uh, from, um, I'm trying to think of the name of the organization, Dave. Uh, it, it was a mess cu cultural. No, no. no. Oh, man. <laughs> we'll put it in and post. Because <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of the name of it. But they gave us a, we got a $25,000 grant from them to uh, install the, the new wood floor and other renovation things that you know, were outside the realm of Nick and yeah. his restoration of the building, you know, because that wasn't part of the deal. So we, we got, got that. Uh, the, the, I think that the, light, the flooring and the lighting. It, it, it's yeah. like, it is a proper... Yeah, gallery space. The, light, the lighting was all calculated to be yeah. right, you know, to hit the walls right, right? and things like so that. So, starting with five of us, how many members have been? Out? Well, we've re we've averaged sort of two hundred members going through two hundred and fifty all along. Okay, a block of two hundred active members. Over the years, of course, they come and go. Yeah. Um, so we've on on the history. We have something over 900 people have been a member at one time. Have been a member at one time. Yeah. Or are current but Right members. now, around 200. Two, 250. Yeah. 900 people. Yeah. Oh, it's never going to work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no one's going to show up. Yeah. 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 How, how is that happening? <laughs> <laughs> the other thing, though, is that I, I'm going to go back to this is that we've gotten, we build relationships. Um, mm -hmm. With each other, and I think with a community, I mean, start to oh, yeah. not 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 everybody likes us all the time, but that's okay. It's like we've been the city was deliberately yeah. doing shows, yeah, over twenty years. Years, yes. That's not that's that's good. Yeah, De yeah that's deliberately good. representing all the artists mm -hmm. that we yeah. can, you know, because our shows have never been. Just for members. Never. It's always been you're welcome to join, enter a show, you know, you're welcome. You don't have to be a member, you know, no requirement. Like this show here is. Oh, this is an awesome show. 103 self portraits. Yeah. You know, and I'd say half of them are members. You know, and the other half aren't. And, and ups and downs with the city, but most of all, they've been supportive. Absolutely, I think that the city's done a great job in supporting us, and 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 also, you know, a shout out to the to the other galleries in town. The the city has always been behind them. Yeah. You know, um, we 
we were sort of first. Well, the brush was the brush. Yeah, okay. okay. um, but that but the brush was, you know, kind of a closed environment. You know, they were just uh, sort of insular. I don't mean that offensively, but they were, you know, those eleven people who had their right. studios there and they showed you know, in the gallery. It, it, uh, it, but that even they have expanded, you know, to exactly. reach, reach out to many exactly. more people than well, they can. this league also did it. I know but the diversity of the city is started to touch on some of the other communities that were not getting involved a lot and had many talented people to the Cambodian community, to the African community. Yeah. People started to come forward and feeling welcomed. Yeah. Into a community where they were not a part of war. So that was one of the great things with Paul. Oh, the work was the mission. Oh, the mission. The mission. It meant everybody. Yeah. It didn't matter. No good or bad. It was no good. No, no bad. just the artist from the community. <laughs> <laughs> He's selfish. Yeah, so we've had members living from France. Yeah. From Ghana. Yeah. <laughs> they did, I mean, they didn't enter a lot of shows, frankly. But they were, in fact, official members, yeah. you know, and from all over the, um, mostly around, you know, the New England area, of course, but members from uh, other places, Santa, Santa Fe, we have a member from Santa Fe right now. Mm -hmm. So where are we at today? I uh, want to talk a little bit about the programs and the, the structure of the gallery today, the co-op, the, the all gallery, and the green, uh, green wall. Yeah, well, the, the, the space was always intended to be, uh, in, when it was being renovated back in 2013, 2012, um, we worked with the actual architect that was doing the rent, drawing the renovation plans for the building. And uh, in, I literally got to sit with the architect and say, this is what we need in, in the space for it to be a gallery or multiple galleries in that thing. So we, you know, it got created basically just like we asked for. We have a, uh, a main gallery. We have the Greenwald Gallery where we're sitting here. It's in honor of John Greenwald, who was uh, a, a rabid supporter rabid. of the organization. Um, and uh, uh, he unfortunately passed away in 2010, uh, but named the little gallery after him just for his you know, undying support, no pun intended. Um, and then the front third of the of the space is a co-op gallery where members can sublet wall space basically uh, to show their own work and uh, and sell their own work from that space. And then we we organized the the floor so you could open up barn doors and create a classroom in the gal Greenwall Gallery, or we could open another set of barn doors and make the classroom bigger by using a little conference room that we have on the side here. And we have uh, uh, an event, a catering kitchen, so people can, we can rent out the whole gallery to an event. To, you know, we've done a couple uh, weddings in here uh, and a few other odd events. Uh, so we have a catering kitchen where they can heat up the meatballs. Um, so I think it, it's been, we intended for the space from the beginning to be, you know, multi-use, to use it for various, you know, not just a gallery to hang artwork, you know, but but to represent, uh, you know, non-artists in various ways. Uh, by yeah, we've had it. talks here, we've had yeah. movies here. Yeah, we, we've done both. Yeah. And we've had a number of various Talks, uh, you know, the uh, uh, Kerouac uh, events. We've had a lot of Kerouac events here throughout the years, and uh, we we had a, a short series of Sunday morning movies, yeah, uh, where we movies of different documentaries of different artists and things like that. Potluck uh, events. Pardon. The potluck events we did. Uh, yeah. The soup oh. tastings. Yeah. Your poetry, poetry readings. Poetry readings um, yeah. yeah. I wish we could get, you know, more of those other things to happen in here, you know, get more more readings, get more movies, get more musicians to play, mm -hmm. you know, poets to read. Um, 
it's it's harder to to get that to happen. One because there's so many fewer of those people working uh, versus the the visual artists, and when we have a lot of visual artists, so that fills up the space. But it sure would be good to get more of the others, and we try. Now we keep trying. We have a we're always looking for for people to volunteer to to help out on different. Um, committees and such. I mean, we our program committee, which drives all these little outside events going on, with our, is a committee of one. Mm -hmm. um, you know, shout out to Mary Hart for all she does um, in the, as the program committee person. Um, no, so and we also have um, other committees that we we come and go, form and unform, and uh, and we're always looking for people to help us out. We don't make any any uh, any money. We're a nonprofit for real, um, mm -hmm. so we can't. We don't. We don't. You know, pay anybody to do any work. Uh, they all volunteer and seemingly volunteer happily. <laughs> yeah. We're not dragging anybody in. In a, a very close distance, we have four or five galleries right downtown. Yeah, yeah. Oh. and the Olavs. Right. Yeah. You have Brush. You have. This place, Gallery C, Gallery C, and you have a quote museum. Quote museum. Whistler House Museum. Whistler, Whistler House. Yeah. The research, the research, the research, Art research, Art research collector. Art research collector. Yeah. Western Ave still over there. The Western Ave. Yeah. 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 And, yeah. and I think that those are some of the things that I found really, really not. Some people think of it as maybe competitive or not. It's it, it opened. I mean, good. How many artists? Oh, yeah. How many artists in this building? Yeah, and some young people who do loud music and yeah. do film and do eyelashes and do <laughs> all kinds of stuff that. Well, there at knew? one point there was a account that there were eight hundred artists in town doing wow. loud. So I think I think they've settled on six hundred now as the actual number, but I think Lowell has been surprised itself by I think so too. What's what's come. Yeah. You know, since they launched the whole idea of let's have an artist they, community. They really did it by supporting the artists. Like this yeah. our building at the Olaf. They yeah. said it's going to be for artists. Not it didn't the have first to be. One. Yeah. 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 But you had to realize there's going to be a lot of artists there. Yeah. And that was, I can't remember the guy he passed away. They said this is how to bring the city up, get the art community. Mm -hmm. in, which has happened in Cambridge and yeah. every place. Was else. it Mul Mulligan? Mulligan. Yeah. yeah, I forget his first name. And it was his idea to bring artists here, track them. Here. Yeah, because it's worked every place else. And and it's and well, artists. The big difference was you could own a property here for the same amount of money it cost you to rent a property. Right. Yeah. Right. For a year. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's been great. I really Thank appreciate uh, being able to get together with you. It's been yeah. really interesting, and I'm and I'm sure that uh, people who follow us on YouTube and uh, our members will get a big kick out of listening to this. Let's hope so. Thank you. 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 Thank you.